Landlord, coming in. I got a couple of hives here to look at that I hadn't checked out in a couple weeks. This one here, I put a queen cell in it two weeks ago, I believe. Busy on that propolis. Prior to putting the queen cell in this one, it was a strong hive, but it didn't have any brood whatsoever. And the cell should have hatched and she should have been bred and ought to be laying by now that's what i'm doing right now just going in to make sure things are going in the right direction and if i can find her i'll mark her Well, this box remains queenless. This is that one I put the queen cell in in the middle of the night. Uh, it's been almost two weeks ago. There's no queen and no brood, no eggs. And this box is getting full of old bees. They've been, I'd say they've been queenless for about four weeks now. So I don't have the luxury of sticking another queen cell in it. They, they are getting uh, played out. We'd, we've gone through a uh, good privet bloom. They've been working hard. And they, bees just don't last that long in the summertime. So I'm going to have to find a, another queen and put in the box. Probably along with some brood to get them kicked off again. They're not weak yet and there's no beetles or anything in them yet. But if I let them go for much longer, that's what will happen. So this one here is destined for... Uh, a new queen and not a cell. I'm gonna check out the neighboring hive real quick too. I don't see a lot of activity out of them. We'll see what's there once I pop the lid. Well, they're looking good so far. This one here, I don't recall when I put the queen cell in. I should have marked the lid and I, I didn't. Probably another one of those middle of the night tired things. Cell's empty. So either she hatched or they dug her out. This colony here is a little more active than that other one. I got some younger bees in here. This is not looking good either. They got emergency cells drawn out. There's nothing in them but the cells are there. 
I believe this is one I made some splits off of and I just didn't make any notes on it. I'm looking for the old gator tail. There's chewed out queen cells all over the place. I ought to be able to find a queen in here somewhere. I'm probably in them too early. I should leave them alone for a little bit. Let her get going, but I don't remember when I was in them last. Alright, there's my queen right here. Little short butted thing, so either she just got bred or she's a virgin I don't see any eggs so I don't want to I know she's in there now I'm satisfied I don't want to fool with her any further than that I'll mark her at a, another time that's as far as I go into that box I'm happy with the Knowledge that there's a queen in there. I'll leave them alone and let them let them work. Well that was it. That was a short sweet inspection and uh, I imagine she came out of here. Those other cells are chewed off. She probably came out and killed those others because I'm I don't put a cell in one unless I know it's gonna hatch out before what they have in there is gonna hatch. So they're doing all right. They're looking better than this one here. This one's just a old folks home for bees. Half of them was on walkers already. My situation I got right here is a really good example of why it's better to have more than one box of bees if you can, if you have the luxury. Um, this box on the right here has been queenless for about four weeks now, and so every box, every bee in there is a, is over a month old, and bees just don't live that long in the summertime. And we're coming up on June now. So even if I if I just realized they were queenless and I ordered another queen by the time it got here and I put her in there and she started laying and the new bees started emerging, you st you're still looking at another three weeks before I've got new bees in the box. And that whole time the numbers are declining, the old bees are dying. Uh, not making it back to the box for whatever reason, age or whatever. And so because I have more than one box of bees, I can rob brood out of my stronger boxes and give this one a, a real good jump start, good kick in the pants to help them get going again. So if you are looking at getting into it and one box is all you can afford, by all means get a box. Uh, you'll enjoy it and chances are you won't lose them like this, but you know this is always a chance you take. And if you can afford more than one box, that's what I recommend, at least two. And uh, I think it'd be money well spent and you'll probably be happier with your decision. This little hive here was just one that was thrown together real quick to have some place to put this queen. She just hatched out yesterday. So you got to keep them fed and all these bees are getting used to our scent. So what I'm going to do to rescue that hive at my place is I'm going to take this queen and these couple of frames of bees over there and introduce them into that hive. It's about dark so everybody's back in the hive and I'm fixing to introduce their new queen to them. That's a worker I put in there. Mm. 
She's trying to get out the other end of the tube. Right, I'm going to pull the plug and let her out that way. So she insists on going out that way. That's it. She's home. Simple as that. Now they got a virgin queen to take care of. There's a few ways you can introduce bees to a new colony. And this is one that I use if I've only got a few bees. I'll just wait till dark when nobody's flying and lean the frames up on the front of the hive and just let them walk in as they feel comfortable. You can see they're not stirred up. They're accepting them. They're going in a couple at a time. About half of them have gone in already, so all I got left is what's what's hanging out here. I'm just letting them do their thing, and when they're done, I'll pick the frames up. So I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, and y'all have a good afternoon.